Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have an Estabrook SD Sparkle. This is the oversize in the garnet. We have another Estabrook SD Oversize in the Sparkle. And this is the Tanzanite. We have a Danny Trio Chinkin Cage Mo Mata on Takumi. A Danny Trio Makie Ancient Dragon with Flowers by Kagaku on Hyatan. We have a Ryan Crusack. And this is the largest legend 16 in the Dragon Slayer. We have an Anoto Magna Carta. We have a Banu Euphoria Bourbon. We have an Anoto Magna Classic in the Chased Jade. We have an Estabrook SD Oversize in the Rocky Top. And then we have a London Pen Company Christopher 14 in a faceted Honey Noir. So I think let's go through these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is the Estabrook SD, and uh, this is the Sparkle version, uh, and I have two here, the, the red and the blue. Now, the reason why I like these so much uh, is because of, of several reasons. I'd say probably three reasons. The first reason is that they are oversized pens. So these are not the regular Estabrook SD size of pens these are the oversized version the second thing you'll see here is that it has a lot of glitter in here and and these are made from diamond cast material which is from Mackenzie Penworks and this has real diamond dust inside or impregnated into that resin and then the third thing I like about these pens are the Yovo nibs I do like Yovo steel nibs, uh, and, and I have to say that these are really nice writing pens. So I decided I would pick one of these up. Uh, I've been meaning to pick up an Estabrook SD for some time now, and I decided I would add it to my collection. And I really do like this garnet version, and you'll see here it says Estabrook there on the cap band. And if I unscrew uh, the pen here you'll see sometimes this actually happens which is the uh, insert inside the cap so if I just do that that's perfectly fine uh, so don't worry if that happens with your Estabrook SDs it's not broken it is a spring-loaded sort of clutch mechanism so what happens is when you push the body in you have to push it in and then twist at the same time uh, so sometimes if the uh, nib has been capped inside that cap for a while, you can get a little bit of ink drying around the base of the section and that can cause that, that clutch mechanism or inner cap to actually stick to the section. Um, but I do like this. This is a Yovo nib. It's a medium nib. It's a steel nib. Uh, these do come with cartridge converters. So you can see there. Uh, I just like this pen a lot. I, I like... I like the cigar shape, and I like the material. Uh, I thought, actually, that these metal, very chunky threads would actually cause me some concern uh, in terms of, of, of the feel or the writing experience, but it doesn't. So for me, this is a, a really nice pen. I can post the cap. It doesn't post securely, though. Uh, so if you are a cap post, it's maybe something that you don't maybe want to do with an Estabrook uh, SD Oversize. The next pen, again, is another Estabrook SD Oversize. And this, again, is uh, the Sparkle. But this is in the Tanzanite, or blue. And, and I have to say that it's really hard to get this one to sparkle. Uh, I, I can actually see it with my studio lights here. Uh, I can't quite see through the camera to see if you're catching this or not. But this is a beautiful, beautiful pen. Uh, again, made from Mackenzie Penworks Diamond Cast Material. 
real diamond dust uh, inside this resin. Really, really nice pen. Uh, there you go, the clutch mechanism didn't come out there. Uh, again, another Yovo nib, and this is, again, a steel nib. It's a medium nib. Uh, I, I'm liking these medium nibs, actually. I, I went through a phase where I did get uh, some Yovo medium nibs, and I didn't like how they wrote. And I then gravitated to broad Yovo nibs, and I really loved them. And I have started going back to medium because I've been writing more with feed, uh, fine and medium nibs. And I just, for some reason, I'm liking these more. So uh, uh, that, that's an interesting one. Now, I do have a, a third Esther book here as well, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, and I do have another one on order as well. And that one probably won't be arriving for uh, probably a month, but... It's coming from the other side of the world, so. Uh, but I will show you that, and I will do a review of that when when that one arrives. The the next pen I have inked up this week is this beauty of a pen, and this was a pen that I got at the London Pen Show in March 2022. Now, this I call uh, the Danny Trio Chinkin. Uh, the correct name is Danny Trio. Chinkin Cage Momata on Takumi. Uh, but this is a really beautiful, beautiful pen. So you'll see there it has Danny Trio there on the clip. And you have this lovely gold uh, Chinkin. And you can see there how it's, it's painted onto that body there. But I love those flowers. And I love that the, the flowers change colour as well. So... This is a pen that I picked up at the London Pen Show. And I have to say, I really do like it. So uh, this has a 18 karat gold nib there. And that is a Danny Trio Fireball nib. Um, but it's a beautiful writer. It's a fine nib. Uh, now, Danny Trio sometimes come as uh, cartridge converters and sometimes as eyedroppers. This is a cartridge converter. Um, and this is an ebonite pen with the Chinkin uh, Macchie, if you want to call it Macchie. It's, it's really, I guess it's really Chinkin, but th this is a beautiful, beautiful painting uh, on that pen. So I have that one inked up with me this week as well. I've been writing with that. And there's this other one here. Um, this is, again, a beauty. Uh, again, I picked this up at the London Pen Show in March 2022. Now this is called the Danny Trio Machie Ancient Dragon with Flowers by Kagaku on Hayatan. And this is a beautiful, beautiful, now I call this the Danny Trio Dragon, um, but it is a beautiful pen. And again, I, I, I went to the London Pen Show and I did want to pick up a couple of Danny Trios if I could. And I ended up picking up a couple of Danny Trios. So I didn't have any particular model uh, or shape or design in mind. But I went with the idea that I wanted to pick up a couple of more Danny Trios. And if I saw something that I liked, then I would pick it up. And and that's what I did. So, so this is a beautiful, beautiful pen. So you can see here you've got, I guess, that's some wind there or... Could even be the, the breath of the dragon, maybe. And you've got this beautiful dragon there as well. And then you've got these flowers down here. It really is a beautiful, beautiful pen. So uh, I I am am in awe with this pen. It's a lovely, lovely pen. Uh, now, this uh, also is uh, a, a beautiful uh, ebonite uh, pen. It's, it's Yurushi on, on, on top of that as well. And I believe it's Akatamanuri. Uh, it's it's that kind of red. And it comes with a medium 18 count gold. And that's the Danny Trio Fireball Nib. And again, this is a cartridge converter. So I have uh, that inked up this week as well. But I'm really, really loving writing with this pen. Uh, it's not a bouncy nib, unlike the... The Chinkin, which is very bouncy. Uh, this is a little bit more of a rigid nib, but I still like how it writes. 
And another pen that I've been meaning to pick up for some time now, it's been over a year, and, and I keep looking at, at Ryan Crusack's website and more so his Instagram. And I've wanted a Legend 16. If you don't know Ryan Crusack, he makes a lot of pens out of wood, uh, also out of other material. This, this uh, white here is made out of antler. And uh, the Legend 16 is the largest, most girthiest pen that he makes at the moment. And uh, Legend 16 is because it's a 16 millimeter thread. Uh, but this is a beautiful, beautiful um, sort of laser etched uh, picture here onto this antler and then filled of this fire breathing dragon. And I have to say, this is a beautiful pen. Now, you will see some marks on here. Uh, this antler, all of this is actually comes as it is. So, uh, it isn't lacquered or enameled in any way. Um, so it will attract some dirt sometimes and it will also uh, not look pure white. And, and that's by design because it, it is natural antler. Uh, and then the, the cap here, I believe, is wood and you've got some dragon scales on that cap as well. Now, I could have had a steel or an 18 gold nib i went with a steel nib on this one and it, again it's a medium nib you've got the ryan crusack or rk logo there and again this is a cartridge converter pen so you can see that there uh and again i, I just like writing with this so so that the actual nib on here although it's a, a ryan crusack steel nib it is a yovo nib uh that you can see there from from the flight flourishing on the the nib there but if it's is a really good size nib, uh, a good size pen. You can post the cap if you want to. It doesn't post that deeply, uh, but it will post if you really want to. Doesn't have a clip, doesn't bother me, honestly, but I know it does bother some people. But I love I love the size of that pen, and, and I, I love the size of the pen in my hand. It, it just feels right. So uh, I'm glad that I managed to pick up a Ryan Crusack pen. And I honestly would like to pick up another one. So that may be something that I will add to my collection in future months, perhaps. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see what uh, what how this year pans out uh, in 2022. The next pen, which I got at the uh, London Pen Show uh, in 21, it was uh, October. And this was the Anoto Magna Classic. And this is one special honking pen. So you can see that coin finial there. This is a solid silver pen. You've got the hallmark there as well. Uh, and it is a Magna Carta. So the Magna Carta uh, was a document uh, enshrined in 1215. And you've got aspects uh, sort of writing from the Magna Carta engraved into that cap and also into the body as well this is a heavy pen it's not a light pen but it is a beautiful pen uh, i do have a, an 18 karat gold number seven size uh, nib there uh, from anoto and this is a fine nib but uh, it's a nib that i like it's got a silver section uh, and it's a cartridge converter but i love it and and I really do love that weight. Uh, you can't post the cap. It's not designed to do so. But it's a long pen. You don't need, honestly, uh, to, to post that cap. Unless it's just that you you either want a pen to be very back weighted, which, which this is very weighty anyway. Or if you just don't want to lose your cap, in which case you can either hold it in a hand or put it on your desk. But I love this pen. This is a beautiful pen. It's not a cheap pen, and it makes me want to get another version of this, and uh, I probably will do at some point again. So, so watch out for that. I, I don't know if it will be this year. Uh, I will have to think about that. Uh, I guess it really depends on if there are any other pens that I see that that I potentially want to add to my collection. Uh, we'll see, but uh, definitely I can see. A few more Notos coming to my collection, uh, and certainly one will be another solid silver, and one will be probably another sort of chased pattern. 
The next pen I have inked up is this beautiful Banu, uh, and you can see that that clip is quite springy. This is a Banu Euphoria, and this is the Bourbon, or Bourbon, and this uh, is a beautiful, beautiful glittery pen. Now, I know glitter isn't for everyone, but I do like this pen a lot, and I have to say, I like the size and shape of it, and I... I, I do like the name as well, I have to say. I, I kind of think it should be called Whiskey, but Bourbon, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll let I'll let Banu off for that one. Uh, so this comes with a steel Schmidt nib, and uh, that, I believe, I think is a fine nib, yeah. That's a fine nib, um, yeah. And again, it's a cartridge converter pen, so you can see that there. Uh, it's it's a really really nice pen. The Banu pens are not heavy, uh, but this is a long pen, and I can also post that cap if I want to. But it's such a long pen, I I don't feel the need to want to post that that cap. And as you can see there in my tray, that that is a long pen. The next pen I have inked up is this one, and it's an Anoto Magna Classic, and it's in the Chased Jade. Chased is this this pattern, this silver pattern, which is engraved into the body there, in the cap, and then basically it's um, filled in with with uh, like a silver silver paint. Now you can see there the cap finial, uh, a noto there. So you've got the outside ring, which is the O, an N, an O, a T, and an O. Uh, the you've got the silver clip here as well. A note of the pen made in England. Uh, this is a really beautiful pen. Uh, I do like this a lot. Uh, this was a pen I picked up second hand, and it does have a number seven size nib, 18 karat gold nib. The only issue with this nib is, and it's hard to see, but this nib was ground down on the underside, and it was ground to a crisp italic. And so it is a little bit sharp. Um, it, I have smoothed it out now, so it's a, it writes a lot better. And you can see there, it is almost out of ink. Uh, but this is a, a beautiful, beautiful uh, pen, and I do like it a lot. So uh, this, uh, again, is something I've been writing with. Um, uh, so a lot of these pens here have not had a review done yet. Uh, and I am trying to get around to the reviews. I've had a... A busy uh, first quarter to 2022 so I'm trying to to get around and get on top of my reviews obviously I still have a lot of reviews in backlog where I have already recorded these reviews and I'm still releasing them so you're not missing any videos but I will get through to uh, or get through some of these these pen reviews in the coming weeks and maybe months uh, depending on how quickly I can uh, come back up to speed. But I do need to sit down and do a lot more video reviews and get these recorded. So I can't say when these will, will be coming out, if they haven't already come out, but uh, they will be coming out at some point in the near future. The next pen here I have inked up is this one. And again, it's another Estabrook SD. Uh, this is the oversized. It's not, it's not actually termed the sparkle. Uh, but this is this was a limited edition, and this was the Rocky Top. Now the Rocky Top comes in both oversized and regular size, so I had to pick this up in the oversized. Now, strangely enough, I, I was thinking about getting a medium nib on this, but it only uh, in stock when I when I bought it only had a broad nib, so I got a broad nib there. Uh, so it's a steel nib. And then, uh, again, this is a cartridge converter, and I'm almost out of ink there as well. Uh, but again, like this is a, a large pen in my hand. I can post the cap, but it really doesn't post securely, and it, it, it will post. And if I shake it, it's not going to come off, but it doesn't post that deeply. Uh, it has that same uh, spring clutch mechanism there in the cap. And that's really to, to try and stop the nib drying out uh, um, because some pens will dry out more than others so it, it's good that Esther have have got that in in uh, their their caps 
And then the last pen I have inked up today is the London Pen Company Christopher 14. And this is in a faceted, and this is the Honey Noir. Now, uh, it's a beautiful Honey Noir. This is uh, a material from Conway Stewart. Uh, and unfortunately, Conway Stewart have long since closed their doors, but there's still a huge amount of potential Conway Stewart material going around or material that Conway Stewart had bought up to use for pens. So typically the material is called Conway Stewart, even though it may not be from Conway Stewart. It may be from from a another material maker, but this is a beautiful material. And this was made by Sean at the London Pen Company in Ontario, uh, Canada. And uh, this is the faceted 14. So the body itself is round, it's cylindrical, but the cap is faceted. And you can just see that there. If I angle the pen, you'll see those facets on the cap, but not on the body. Uh, this is a really nice pen. I do love this material a lot. Um, I do also like the fluting out here on the section that, that Sean did, because that, that in itself is quite nice. It also has a black nib as well. Uh, these are still nibs, but it's a, a ruthenium coated or black coated nib. Um, now, that one is almost out of ink as well. So uh, I will probably need to re-ink some of these pens. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more letter writing, hopefully this week. Uh, I've got also got a backlog of letters to write to, to pen pals as well. So I will probably have to, if I want to uh, write with any of these pens, I'm going to probably have to ink re-ink some of these pens and i'll i'll probably just re-ink it with with the same ink uh, that is in those pens at this moment in time so that was the uh, last pen that i have uh, currently inked up this week so i think with that let's go and do a writing sample so the first pen here is the estabrook sd sparkle in the garnet so we'll do uh, an ink swatch to start with. And you can just see how nice uh, this ink is. So this is the Estabrook SD. And it's the Sparkle. And it's in the garnet. And this is a uh, medium and it's a still uh, Yovo nib. And then the ink in here today is a uh, KWZ and it's the uh, Beef Eater Red, which is a London uh, pen show exclusive or, or pro probably more the, the UK pen shows. Um, but uh, it is an ink that was made and it was first shown at the London Pen Show. So uh, I'm really glad that I have uh, that ink. I've got a few bottles of that now. The next pen, again, is another Estabrook SD Sparkle. And this is uh, in the Tanzanite. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, I do find that these Estabrook nibs are actually, they kind of feel like they've been tuned a little bit. Uh, although I do, I am still finding some differences. So this, this nib, although it's again another medium nib, like the first one here, I do find that it's a little bit more, I want to, I don't want to say scratchy. I want to say a little bit more coarser or sharper on the edges. So uh, this is uh, an Estabrook. SD and again it's a sparkle and it's in the tanzanite Oops. tanzanite and again it's a medium and it's a still nib and then uh, the ink in here today is a uh, pilot Iroshizuku and it's a uh, Tsuyu Kusa, which I believe now, I think I saw, is now out of general commission. So uh, if you want 
the Tsuyu Kusa ink, you need to get it soon because retailers are going to stop selling it. Uh, they're going to run out of stock. And this is the first bottle of this ink that I've got. And I, I have to say, I do like this ink. And I might have to get myself a second bottle. But I also have a lot of blue ink. So do I really need another one? And Pilot may bring it back at some point as well. That may happen. The next pen I have inked up is the Danny Trio Chinkin Cage Momata on Takumi. So I think let's do an ink swatch on this. And again, this is another Pilot of Washu ink that I like. And it's another that they have recently discontinued. Pilot, why are you doing this? Uh, I did have to buy, I think I thought I had one bottle and I bought a second and I think I now found a second. So I now have a third. So this is the uh, Danny Trio. And this is the Chinkin. And it's the Cage. And it's Mo Matter. On Takumi and it is a fine and it's an 18 cat gold nib and the ink in here is Pilot Iroshizuku and it's Inner Ho which is one of the most closest gold colored inks I have found to date now this is quite a springy nib so I can sort of bounce that nib quite a lot so for me this is actually a really really nice uh, writing nib the next pen is a danny trio Mackie ancient dragon with flowers by kagaku on hyatan so i'm clearly going to have to <laughs> abbreviate that because that's not going to fit on on a single line but i think let's do an ink swatch first and I wasn't sure what red ink I was going to put in here. So I had a quick look at my ink collection. I was going to put in KWZ uh, Beef Eater Red because uh, I thought that probably would match this pen a lot. But in the end, I went with a more lighter ink. So this is a Danny Trio. And I'm just going to call this the Ancient uh, Dragon. And uh, this is a medium, and again, it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is uh, Diamine Wild Strawberry, which is a lovely red. Now, this does have some flex to the nib, but nowhere near as much flex compared with the Danny Trio Chinkin. But I do still like how it writes. So that nib is a little bit firmer. It's not perfectly firm because I can get quite some, quite a lot of line variation out of that nib. But it's not anywhere near as flexible as that fine nib. The next pen I have inked up is the Ryan Krusak Legend 16 in the Dragon Slayer. So I think let's do an ink swatch on here. And this is a, uh, I believe it's a medium. Yeah, it's a medium nib. I was just thinking, you know what? This actually writes more like a fine nib. But it is a medium. So this is the Ryan. And it's Crusac. And it is the uh, Legend 16. And it is the Dragon Slayer. And it is a medium and it's a steel Yovo nib. Now, I didn't know what color ink to put in this pen because it's obviously a white pen with, with black um, sort of uh, engraving going on there. Um, but I decided for an orange ink because I thought, yeah, a dra fire breathing dragon is going to breathe fire, which is a nice orange color. So this one, I have Noodlers, and it's Apache 
Sunset. And I probably could have put a different Noodlers in. I've got a few bottles of Noodlers. Uh, I've got Dragon's Napalm, which actually, in hindsight, probably would have been a better version uh, of ink. But I think that one's a little bit more of a fiery red. I, I just wanted an orange ink. So I decided that I would ink up that with uh, Noodlers Apache Sunset. The next pen is the Anoto Magna Carta. And this is a solid silver pen, so this is heavy. But I like heavy pens, and I honestly don't feel that it's that heavy. Uh, I know a lot of people will, when I, well, when we held, and we still hold pen clubs, uh, we've just not done many in, in 2022, but um, when I have handed over some of my heavy pens for people to try, they, they say, oh, this is so heavy. And... It is a heavy pen, but I don't find it heavy. And it, maybe it's just me. I do like heavy pens. So this is the Anoto Magna Carta. And this is a, a fine, and it's an 18 cat gold nib. It's a number seven nib, not a number six, and not a number eight nib. And then the ink in here is Diamine, and it's Earl Grey, which is a really nice uh, grey ink. It is a fine nib. Uh, can I get some line variation out of it? I can, not a huge amount. Uh, certainly not compared to the Danny Trio there. Uh, but still, it is a nice uh, pen, and I do like writing with it. The next pen is the Banu Euphoria Bourbon. So this is a fine nib, and... Uh, Derek sent this to me for review, and I liked it so much. And I said, I there's a couple of pens there that I really like. And I said, I'm going to have to at least pick up one of these and, and keep them uh, and give him the money for them. And uh, I went with this one. I nearly went with two, but I went with this one because it was very close to the London Pen Show. So this is the Banu, and it's the Euphoria. And uh, it is the Bourbon. Or whiskey. Eh, I, I'd like to call it the whiskey, but it, it technically it's a bourbon. Now, interestingly enough, Derek actually said to me, he said, I'm really sorry, but it's got a fine nib on it. Um, would you like me to swap it out for a medium? I've got a medium or broad. I'm like, actually, you know what? I really like this fine nib. So thank you. But no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the fine nib on it because th this nib writes really nicely. So it's a fine, it's a still nib, it's a Schmidt nib. But it just, I, I like it. It's very wet. Um, it was a little bit more sharper, more crisper. Uh, I did actually just tune the nib slightly on it just to make it a little bit rounded edges, more stub-like. Because uh, I'm not a crisp, uh, italic uh, fan, to be honest, of nibs. Uh, and then the ink in here is uh, Diamine. And it's ochre. Which is a beautiful uh, brown ink that I like a lot. Some pens it comes out very dark brown, and other pens it comes out very light brown. But either way, I do like it. The next pen here is the Anoto Magna Classic. So let's do an ink swatch. And th this nib I was very disappointed in. It's not how it came out of the factory or from Anoto. Um, it was just that I bought this pen second hand. It, somebody had it the nib ground to a very, very crisp italic nib. And it was very scratch. I rotate my nib slightly when I write. And if you have a crisp nib, it's not very forgiving. So if you just rotate slightly as you write, you're going to scratch the page because it's a sharp edge to it. So I had to round that off. There wasn't a lot of tipping on this nib, but I um, did round that off, uh, and it writes majorly better now. So this is the Anoto Magna uh, Classic, and it's the Chased Jade. And this is, strangely enough, a medium 18-carat uh, gold nib. 
Um, but because the previous owner had this nib ground to a crisp italic and removed most of that that sort of um, ball on the bottom of that nib, um, it has made it write more like a broad nib, which which I'm fine with. Um, I kind of, when I bought it, was hoping for a medium that wrote like a medium or more like the uh, a Nota Magna Carta fine there. But I am now loving this nib now that, that I have uh, improved that nib. So the ink in here is uh, Diamine. And uh, this is um, Apple Glory, uh, which I really, really do like. Uh, it's beautiful green ink. Uh, if you want uh, a bright, grassy green ink, there's two inks that I go to for that in in Diamine. Uh, there's the Diamine Meadow and Diamine Apple Glory, and I find Diamine Meadow beautiful ink. Uh, it's a, a little bit darker. Um, the um, Apple Glory is a little bit brighter. The next pen is the Estabrook SD. This is the oversize in the Rocky Top. So again, we're doing an ink swatch here. Now this ink is uh, almost run out. So I am probably going to have to re-ink this one up because you can see that almost run out. I might just be able to get that ink just coming through. I think it's going to be touch and go, but let's give it a try and see. So this is the uh, Esther book. There you go. Uh, it's the SD uh, oversize. And it's the Rocky Top. And uh, this is a broad still uh, Yovo nib. And uh, interestingly, <laughs> you may or may not believe this, but this uh, is uh, Diamine Terracotta, which is a really nice colored brown ink and i have to say uh, i had ochre i think inked up on this before in this pen and i liked it but i really really do like that diamine terracotta i for some reason i always found that diamine terracotta to be a dry ink but in this broad nib it writes really well and then the last pen i have uh, inked up uh, with me this week is the london pen company Christopher 14, and this is in the Twisted Honey Noir. I think let's do uh, an ink swatch. I just had to prime that converter a little bit there. So this is the uh, London Pen Company, and this is the uh, Christopher... 14 it's it's a twisted and maybe i can get that in a twisted honey noir and uh, it is uh, a uh, broad uh, and it's a still uh, yo uh, bock actually a bock nib not a yovo nib uh, and then the uh, ink in here is diamine and it is ochre, which you'll see there is quite a little bit of a difference in color there, uh, but this is a, a much uh, broader nib. So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. We have an Estabrook SD Sparkle in the Garnet uh, with a medium steel nib inked up with KWZ Beefy to Red. We have an Estabrook SD Sparkle in the Tanzanite in a medium steel nib inked up with Pilot Rocha Zuku Tsuyu Kusa. We have a Danny Trio Chinkin Cage Momata on Takumi in a fine 18 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Rocha Zuku in a hoe. We have a Danny Trio Ancient Dragon in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Wild Strawberry. We have a Ryan Crusack Legend 16 in a Dragon Slayer 
with a medium steel nib inked up with Noodler's Apache Sunset. We have an Anoto Magna Carta in a fine 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have a Banu Euphoria Bourbon in a fine steel nib inked up with Diamine Ochre. We have a Anoto Magna Classic in the Chased Jade in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Apple Glory. We have an Estabrook SD Oversize in the Rocky Top with a broad steel nib inked up with diamond terracotta. And then we have a London Pen Company Christopher 14 in the Twisted Honey Noir with a broad steel nib inked up with diamond ochre. So there you have it. That's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.